well, well. I've already been tinkering around this morning before I started filming. Put the roll pin in there. Now the gear linkers should work. What else have I done? Oh, clips, cable ties on the old inner CV pots. Um, and I've started doing a little bit of wiring. I don't know if you can see that up there. <coughs> Just started to wire up the distributor. But I've still got this bunch of wires here, which is hanging down in the wheel arch at the moment, which I need to wire up. Um, got the main starter exciter. And that's what feeds the rest of the car. So that's the whole um, the whole feed into the whole wiring loom. Um, that one, I believe, is the rev counter wire. That, I think, is the oil pressure switch. And that one, I think, is the coolant temperature sensor. So there's really... And the only other one I've got, which I'm a little bit disappointed with, which I'll probably have to do something else with, I've got this one here which is like the feed, ignition feed to the coil, but the wire's got resistive written down it. So, I'm not too sure it'll work. I think they give something like six volts to the coil with it running. So, I may have to change that for a permanent 12 volt, if you know what I mean, ignition fed 12 volt. But yeah, I've literally got this bunch of wires to connect here, and then inside the glove box of the car, which you can't, well, you might be able to see, I don't know. But hanging out of the glove box there. Uh, I've got all the rear lights to carry on, sort of uh, extending and feeding up behind the glove box. I've got the washer pump to wire to extend from the driver's side over to the passenger side. <coughs> and the wiper motor to wire up, which I'm still a little bit confused about because the colours don't match. So I'm going to have to get it powered up, check what does what and go from there really oh and then i've still got the 12 volt and the 24 volt feeds from the back battery bank to wire up but i don't think i've got the right size solder tags for that so i've ordered some new ones i've just got to wait for them to come in really <coughs> and then really it's almost time to get it going well, well you know the electric's going um yeah, so I could get the electrics going. I can't get the car running yet. I need to put oil in it. I need to put the cooling system on it. I need to actually make the exhaust. Yes, I could just put the manifold on and run it. It's no biggie. But I've got the exhaust components there all waiting to go on. So I've got to fabricate an exhaust. I was a bit concerned as well about this gap here actually running the exhaust through it. But I offered it up last night just before I went in and it tucks up there really quite nice. I can get it quite high. <coughs> very surprised and very pleased actually. I thought I was going to have to um, modify this little section of the gear linkage to maybe that bar go straight up there to tuck that bit more out of the way so I could get a bit more height in there. But no, there's no need. Um, I might actually connect one of these little small cotton reel mounts. That's a big cotton reel mount by the way. But using some M6 cotton reel mounts, various places along the car to hold the exhaust up. Because I want to keep it quite tucked and I want it quite firm as well. I don't want it flopping around. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I think we're pretty much there. So let's get started today. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I've got to tell you. That's my plan anyway. Um, finish off the electrics as best I can. So like I say, I don't think... I've got everything I need to finish the electrics at the moment, but I could at least get things powered up. I'm pretty sure I can. So, right then, um, I'll bring you back in a mo once I've started on this. Every day I come down here, I think to myself, do you know what, I'm going to do that today. Yeah, I'm um, just so like today, going to do the electrics. No. I'm making brake pipes now, so I'm putting in the clutch master and the brake master. <coughs> so in theory... The foot brake could be working today. I've got no reason why it shouldn't be. Um, clutch, kind of done a bit of a boo-boo. I've got the wrong um, braided hose that goes from that little bracket where the engine steady is down to the clutch slave cylinder. I've got the wrong hose for that. But somewhere, 
don't know where it is somewhere i've definitely got the right one so i've got to try and find that anyway yep making up little brake pipes now let me just take you to the front of the car show you where i'm getting at with that so i've got the brake and clutch master sitting there I've just got to pipe them up to that little valve down the bottom there. So two brake pipes and that bit will be done. Right, let me just uh, put some flares on the end of these, this bit of pipe and cut it to size and fit it on and I'll show you once I'm done. There you go, some brake pipes on and oh, there's a carburetor there now as well. Um, and an exhaust manifold. So, I've been cracking on now. I've actually been to the parts place as well. Um, the clevis pins that go on the bottom of the brake and clutch master, I haven't got them. Well, I can't find them. So I've just been out and ordered some from a local parts place. Ordered a variety box. So hopefully I'll get some biscuits in it as well. And some cake. Uh, choke cable. That's the next thing. Got to have a tinker with that. That's going to go over there. I know it's a strange route in, but that's where it's going to go. Um, throttle cable I still need to buy yeah well the brakes are all in anyway and with this uh, braided hose I don't know if you can see down there I've made up a little intermediate pipe there so the braided hose did fit after all because I made it fit <sighs> right keep on looking at this and going what's next what's next I think I'm going to do that clu uh, clutch, the um, choke cable next. So I've got to cut this down. Well, that's the choke cable in. Tell me if it works. It certainly feels like it does, but I can't be in two places at once. Yeah, so that's the choke cable. Right, marvelous. It's another little thing done. Right, on next. next. Just going to reduce the size of this little flappy beast. And now no little flappy bit. We've got that little bit of plastic instead. <sighs> so I don't know what to do. I, I really must get on with these electrics. I really must. Right, let's, let's make a start with that. Start at this end. Get in nice and close look. So this is the main 12 volt cable which is coming from the battery bank at the back. Now I need to connect this to the main post of the starter. So to do that it needs one of them. Let's get that crimped on that wire. Right, and there we go. As if by magic. There's the lug on the end. All crimped on with my little hydraulic crimper so now just need to connect these wires here they're the ones that go to the distributor and the coil that's tucked down there just twisted them together at the moment keep them all together ah oh, come on get yourself sorted come on so that has got to go on there but can't put the nut on there properly yet because i've got to take the other wires over from in the wheel arch to feed the rest of the car through there as well so let's get in there oh i can't believe it it's absolutely piddling hard out there now i hate it when it rains even though i'm in the dry in here right let's gonna lift the car up now we can start with this wiring that's on the wheel arch Ooh, getting good right, let's got the starter motor wired now i've got the exciter lead on there got the uh, feed, you can't really even see it, the feed that's going off down this way, that's going through that grommet in the side there, up into the inner wing to feed the rest of the car, um, yeah that's how far I've got, it's all still hanging down here at the moment because I've got some, uh, you see them little uh, bits there, they're bits I welded on before I welded the wings on so I could cable tie all the cables up there. So that's all got to be tucked up. Um, just got to look up what the rest of these wires do, make sure I'm doing the right thing, and uh, go from there. Well, believe it or not, that is the engine bay wired. Can't really see much, can you? 
which is what exactly what I wanted. Oil pressure wire, water temperature, distributor, starter, alternator. That's it. That's all you needed an engine bay and a mini. Should be pretty damn tidy. Right, so getting stuck into these electrics now. I thought the wiring that I got in, I thought would be really sort of basic and I should at least get the engine to crank. Um, but found out I was missing a relay. Now I couldn't find a relay with the right pin configuration. So I've had to repin this plug to work with the old Ford relay I found. So now I don't want to crank the engine over too long because it's got no oil in it, but that now cranks. So that's good. Um, so now I'm just starting to go through, I'm just, I've just uh, earthed. Just, uh, where are we? Just under there, see that sort of loose bolt hanging just there? That's the main earth for the whole loom. So I've just got to tighten that up. That should get things working. I've also got to do a little bit of jiggery pokery with this uh, fuse box. I've got to get that put up under there somewhere. So it's all tucked up out of the way. Um, and yeah. Let's see what else we can get working. I have got the clocks plugged in at the moment, but um, they're not actually doing anything because I think it's mainly because of the earths are missing. So let me just get that bolt tightened up and let's see what else works. Well, I've given up for the day now. Everything's being packed away. So got myself a little uh, note of what I need to do just so I don't forget. Um, electric's coming on all right. Apart from the near side indicator, I can't seem to get that working at the moment. I think I've got a wire wrong up behind the dash somewhere, so I've got to try and figure that out. But apart from that, it's not going too bad, really. Um, yeah, it's just the electrics, really. Uh, I've got to get the radiator in, coolant in. I think I need a little elbow-shaped hose um just to bypass the heating system for the moment because i'm well i haven't made one the intentions were there but i never did make one so um that's something for the future once the colder weather gets here yeah uh still got a wire up the rear lights and stuff like that but it's it's all coming to i, I reckon another day on it and i'll have all the electric sorted so maybe tomorrow i was going to rest tomorrow because i go back to work on thursday and I've got something to do on Wednesday, so I uh, won't be working on this on Wednesday. So we'll see how we go. Um, if I get in the mood tomorrow, I'll come down here and finish off the electrics, I suppose. Shouldn't take too long. So, Right then, well, thanks a lot for watching, and keep your hands dirty. Don't